Interestingly, so many organizations have revenue or profit as their product goals as well as strategic goals. Some organizations do not consider using product goals at all. Or they are not aware of this need. What about your organization or product? Do you have a product or strategic goal, superscript 1 if yes, does it revenue oriented? From my perspective and personal experience working with companies, I would provide a short answer to this question. Is revenue a good product goal? Yes and no. But this quick answer does not help you, therefore, I need to elaborate more on this topic. There are no shortcuts. One crucial piece of information must be known before I go deeper. Goals should be measurable. The goal of increase revenue by 15% sounds good from this perspective. However, is it an effective approach? Scrum teams should be focused on one goal at a time to avoid confusion and context switching. Shallow, short-term approach commercial organizations exist to earn money, increase market share and do business. That's undeniable. Having a goal, only revenue slash profit oriented for product teams might be too shallow. It means that customers slash users are not part of the product journey, aren't they? Some companies just ignore them while setting up goals. Who is making a profit for the organization? Equals customers and users. How likely your organization will reach its revenue goal without users and or customers? Equals very unlikely. Superscript 2 why users slash customers should be interested in your product slash service if they are unsatisfied or nobody cares about their happiness. Equals as a customer, why should I buy slash subscribe to your product? Because you have a financial goal? What would team engagement be if they do not know what customers slash users need? Superscript 3 equals I found scrum teams to be more engaged if they had clear, customer-oriented goals. If they do understand what customers want and need. I called the approach on having revenue only related as short-term and shallow. It might not lead to the intended results. Opposite, it may lead to mindless adding features, whether needed or not. Sometimes, I observe even an aggressive delivery, do more, faster, we need to fulfill our financial goal. Why are these features required if they are never validated with customers slash users and their real needs and satisfaction gaps? Right, I am harsh here to wake up some decision maker just to reflect. This observation is based on my cooperation with at least 30 companies over the last years. A long-term, effective approach, a relatively better approach is combining revenue and customers and goals. You may also consider having goals only customer oriented. Based on shared research in EndNotes, the more outcomes you deliver to customers, the more revenue you have. Remember about the rule, one goal at any given time, focus, and measurable. How to get there? Talk to customers. Ask them about their satisfaction gaps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.